Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mitsuko, so thank you so much for watching this video. So, as you can tell, the background is a little bit different. I typically film in my bedroom, but the lighting hasn't been the best. So I think this is pretty great. My face is clear and things are working. So this might be my new setup. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. For today's video, I will be sharing with you how I keep my makeup lasting all day during the summer. I've been doing this for roughly a year now. I started for my wedding day. I wanted to test it out and it worked. It was a hot, sweaty, humid day and my makeup lasted. I was wearing a mask and it was perfect. So I tweaked it a little bit just because, you know, new products are in and I've been trying this new routine for the month now and it's pretty much the same. It's just one product that I switched out. So let's get into it. So whenever I'm doing my makeup, I always make sure that my skincare routine is perfect because it's the base. You want it to last, you want it to look good. And if you don't have a good routine, that can affect the way your makeup looks at the end of the day. My skin is typically dry during the winter, during the summer a little bit, but um, it's close to normal to dry. So I typically start with a toner, which is from Fresh, and this one is the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. This one is very popular. If you have dry skin, I'm telling you, you need to try this one. I find it hydrating. So typically I would use this product from Glow Recipe. It's the Niacinamide Dew Drops, and I love it. It feels like a primer for my skincare and it's a step that I never miss and I feel like it makes my skin feel really smooth after that I go with my moisturizer from first aid beauty this is the ultra repair cream and you need to try this one okay if you have dry skin definitely go for it I've been using this for years and I love it on top of the moisturizer I go with my face oil which is from Sunday Riley and this is their CEO glow vitamin C turmeric face oil I love this oil because it helps with my hyperpigmentation and obviously I go on top of that with sunscreen. I use this one from Supergoop. This is their Glow Screen SPF 40. I love this one. This is the one I'm actually wearing on top and that's why I have so much glow and it's perfect for the summer. Now something I feel like is important also for my base is this one from Bobbi Brown. This is the Vitamin Enrich Face Base. I love this one, it's moisturizing and I also use it as a primer slash moisturizer. Um, and then it's lovely. Maybe this much. Now for my primer, I've been loving this one from Dinosaur Marix. This is her Blurring Balm Powder in the shade Universal. Love it, okay? I have a review on this. If you're interested, I will link it down below along with all the other products. So I, clearly I love it, okay? So I'm going to take a little bit of this. You can use the spatula, but I'm just going to use my finger for that. And I'm going to use maybe this much. Just put it on my skin. And then whenever you use this primer, you don't need to worry about smile lines. Like I used to have them all the time. And since then, no problem. So this summer I've been using two foundations like almost every time I wear makeup and it's either the NARS Lightweight Reflecting or the HD Skin from Makeup Forever. These are great, I reviewed both of them but I think I'm gonna go with the NARS. So lately I've been loving this concealer from Pat McGrath. So this is in the shade MD23 and it's a Skin Fetish Sublime concealer. So I'm going to put a little bit of that just to, just as a base. Just for that extra brightness, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin Concealer in the shade 4.3. A little bit goes a long way for this, so I'm just putting just dots. And I'm going to use the NARS Bronzer. This is the Laguna Bronzing Cream in the shade Laguna 4. And I also reviewed this one. This is what it looks like. It's a beautiful shade. And trust me, a little bit goes a long way with this. So I'm going to put some where I typically bronze. I haven't contoured in forever. I just prefer a bronze look. So that's what I usually do. So I'll just put a little bit more just to make sure it looks great. And then typically I put some right here. Usually I bronze before I blend my highlight, my concealer. I don't know what happened today, but typically I do that first. Okay, 
and in time for a blush now I already shared my favorite blushes for the summer I will link this video for you if you're interested I'm going to use this one from Danisa Marix this is her vision flush and this is in the shade sweet nectar I'm going to take the blush put it on my cheeks Ooh, beautiful just going to make sure I have enough on the other side too and then I'll blend the concealer and I'm going to use the milk setting spray and I'll just go back in make sure everything is good Since my highlight is really bright, I'm going to use the Light Reflecting Setting Powder from NARS. This is in the shade Mesa. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that and then set. I already started and I forgot to press record. So I put some on my chin, my upper lip, also in this area, just to make sure it's not too bright. And then also put some on my lids. And I'm gonna go back in with a shadow for my eyes. So it's not a problem. So to bronze, I'm going to use the terracotta shade from Guernet and I'm going to put a little bit of that So this is pretty much my base. I just have to do my eyes my brows and then I'm done But I'm going to set again my face one more time So I'm going to take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. This is in the shade number two. And I'm going to take some of that just to set my under eye. Okay, going to take some also here, upper lip, chin, and my nose bridge. So I'm just going to do my eyes and brows and then come back. So this is the final look. Now, when I was doing my eyes, brows, and lips off camera, I noticed that this part of my face wasn't really matching with the rest of my body because your girl tan. So I made this a little bit darker just so it could blend. And yeah, so that's everything. If you have any questions, comments, let me know down below. If you haven't done it already, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.